How long does it take for dents in the head to go away? Hello there, and welcome to our health discussion. Today, we will be talking about a less common but potentially concerning issue, dents in the head. We'll delve into what causes them, how long they typically take to heal, and when you might need to see a doctor. Let's get started. What causes dents in the head? Dents in the head can occur due to various reasons. They can be a result of an injury or trauma, which can cause deformations in the skull. Another potential cause could be a condition called craniosynostosis, where the skull bones in infants close earlier than normal. Other possible causes include infections, surgeries, or certain types of tumors. How long do dents in the head take to heal? The timeline for healing largely depends on the cause of the dent. For instance, if a dent is due to a minor injury, the swelling and bruising may go away within a couple of weeks. However, if the dent is due to a more severe injury or condition, it may take longer to heal or may require medical intervention. In the case of a newborn baby, if the dent is due to a birth-related molding, it usually resolves on its own within a few months as the baby's skull grows and reshapes. In general, the healing process is highly individual and can range from weeks to months, or even longer in some cases. When should you see a doctor? While some dents may resolve on their own, it's crucial to seek medical advice if you notice any new, unexplained dents in your head or your child's head. Furthermore, if the dent is accompanied by other symptoms such as headaches, confusion, changes in behavior, seizures, or any neurological symptoms, immediate medical attention is required. Dents in the head can be caused by various factors and can take from weeks to months to heal, depending on the cause and severity. Remember, it's important to seek medical advice if you notice an unexplained dent, especially if it's accompanied by other concerning symptoms. Thank you for joining us in today's discussion. Stay safe, stay informed, and remember, your health is your wealth.